The freeze on student loan payments won't be melting at the end of January after all. A student loan expert said this will make a huge difference for borrowers across the country. These borrowers with monthly payments, say of maybe $300 or $500, closer to $1,000, in some cases even more. And that's money that they're no longer having to pay right now towards the federal government. That's money they can use in other areas of their life uh, to create some breathing, breathing room in their budgets. But the 43 million borrowers can't assume it'll go on forever. James Presnell, a sales executive in Charlotte, has about $25,000 in student loans. I'm a fair believer that, you know, I took out the loan. I should be responsible for paying it. But having an opportunity to um, save on top of that is, is big for me. So any, any delay or any type of way to continue to push that out would be best for me. Presnell worked his way through college and was able to pay some of his loan back while still studying. But college isn't cheap, and he still has a ways to go to finish up payments. My advice would just to be uh, make sure that you have a, a game plan, uh, making sure you're saving up. You know, this wasn't designed to allow you to not pay. It was for you to be able to save, and and um, those people that had hardships during this time. So just save and being able to. Um, pay down as much as you can. Dr. Michael Walden, an economics professor at North Carolina State, said although the loan payment delay has helped, it doesn't solve the problem. We have an issue with college costs. Um, this is a ramification of it. College costs have gone up dramatically. Since I was in college 40, 50 years ago, I paid for my tuitions through working part-time jobs. Students, it's very hard for students to do that. So I think the, the, the core question for me is what can we do to moderate college costs. The freeze has been a huge help for those who continued to make payments because there was no interest. But for those of you who haven't been paying or saving, prepare for a tough time when the moratorium ends in May. In Charlotte, Emma Withrow, Fox 46.